Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> You've been out a while, man. Tell us about the injury. Tell us about coming back. Tell us about your first 18 just on Monday. It's like it's been like um, coming back to school after a long holiday and everybody's, you know, what have you been up to? What's going on? Uh, the injury, December 24th, snowboarding in Colorado, in Vail, and um, took a very mundane spill. For all the silly things I do, mountain biking and snowboarding, this was pretty dull, and uh, it resulted in a dislocated shoulder, um, which was the most excruciating thing I've ever done. And... Um, you know, when it was put back into its socket about an hour later, I thought, okay, it's not too bad. We'll get back to practicing pretty soon, and um, it shouldn't be too bad. And then here we are, oh, I don't know, three months, uh, not, not quite three months later, uh, nine, ten weeks later, and um, I am still very fresh when it comes to the game of golf. Uh, I've played one round of golf so far. We're just about to tee it up in Doral and I've played 18 holes and that's, a bit, that's about it. So it's been a long road of rehab, uh, treatment rehab, getting the shoulder strong again. It's almost there. Um, feels really good. It's not 100%. I've only just been given the all clear to start doing things overhead, raising the arm up above the head and exercising that way. Uh, and so I've got a lot of work to do in the golf game and I really have, you know, very low expectations right now. I mean, I'm, I'm always one for setting very whole high goals, but in this case, you know, I've hit some great shots the last couple of days. I've hit some absolute shockers, and um, it's kind of like learning how to play golf again because that shoulder was out of action for such a long time. Um, you know, I got to learn how, learn how I swing the golf club and get that back. And that's unfortunately not a quick thing, kind of like the rehab. That might take, you know, rehab's taken nine, ten weeks. It might take, uh, hopefully, not that long, but it might take a couple of weeks just to get everything going again and get the golf game back, get the confidence going back, and it's just making baby steps right now. And the, but the only way of doing it is getting out and playing tournament golf. So here we are at Doral, and we're going to see what happens. So the Blue Monster is the way you, you take a step back. Not exactly what people would choose, I wouldn't think, but um, I did hear you say that while you were off, you did something you don't normally do. You watched golf, um, and, and you kind of got pumped up watching golf. Tell us about it. Yeah, I, I, for 10 years playing tournament golf, um, I haven't watched a lot of golf. Just didn't really want to. Um, Maybe there are occasions, you know, watch the sort of, you know, guys coming down the stretch to close out a tournament can kind of be fun, but never sit down as a fan and watch golf. Um, like on a Thursday, I would never have watched a Thursday or Friday before. Never. Um, and I found myself doing that and because I want to be, wanted to be out there playing, whether it was, you know, the Middle East that I was missing or the match play tournaments I know well. Um, Riviera was another one, a golf course I love. Watching, you know, golf from Thursday to Sunday, it was, it was cool. It was, it made me want to be back out there straight away. 